Now, what is this project that the Angular CLI has created? What has it done? We know what it looks like, right? We've seen the UI. This is what it renders when we execute it, when we load the project. But how has it created this? You remember I told you how when, you, when you're thinking about an Angular application, you think about a tree of components, right? You create components which have functionality, which have a UI and a backing logic in JavaScript or TypeScript. And you put together an application as a tree of these components. You compose an application of multiple components. Well, what the Angular CLI has done with its basic bare bones project is it's created one component. It has created like the topmost component in the tree. And it has created that as a placeholder for you to add more components. You wanna create an application as a component tree? Well, you gotta organize it. You're gonna write all those components. But what the Angular CLI has done is, hey, I know that there has to be one component anyway, the root component. So it has created a placeholder root component. And that root component is what is rendering all this stuff, all right? So it has created some simple uh, markup, simple bunch of links, helpful documentation links as that simple root component, all right? So let's examine that. The root component is starting from index.html, right? So everything in you know an HTML development process starts from index.html. When you access localhost, what you're doing is you're accessing index.html, which is being served at that location. So if you examine index.html here, you see it's a simple HTML file, except it has this strange thing here, which is called the app root. Can I guess what that is? Yes, it is the root component of your application. The Angular CLI has created a project which has this root component. Now, how do you find out where this is? Well, I will tell you where it is, and I'll, you know, as we learn more about this syntax, we'll know how to find this out as well. The root component that the Angular CLI creates by default is under the directory called app. You see here in the source directory, there is this thing called app. And this is the single component in this whole project, which is available as like a, a starting point with the Angular CLI project. Now this app folder has a bunch of different files. It has this app.module.ts, which we're gonna visit in a little bit. We're gonna come back to that later. But here you see there are a bunch of file names that start with app.component. There is app.component.ts, app.component.html, .css, and .spec.ts. Now, these three files, the HTML, the CSS, and the .ts, are the three files which provide the functionality and the look and feel. Remember, a component is a combination of a view and the backing logic. The view is defined by the HTML and CSS, and the backing logic is defined in the component.ts. .ts stands for TypeScript file. So what you see here when you open this file is TypeScript code. The syntax itself might look odd to you right now, but we'll get to that in a little bit. What I want you to remember is you have one component in the project and it has been split into three files that provide that functionality. The HTML, the CSS, and the .ts. The HTML is what you see in your browser window. You have this content over here that you're seeing and that is mapped to this thing over here, right? Notice there is an H1 where it says welcome to and this strange looking thing which contains the word title in between that maps to this thing over here. In order to prove this, what I'll do is I'm going to add a, a couple more exclamation points here and I'm gonna press Control S or Command S to save this. And I switch to the browser, look what happens. Those exclamation points show up, right? So there is a one-to-one -one mapping between what you're seeing here and what you're seeing here in the browser. Now there is some of this rendering that is coming from the TypeScript file as well. We've seen how the HTML is directly mapped to that, uh, but there is something that's coming from the TypeScript file as well. In order to prove this, I'm going to make a change to this .ts file and have it reflect over here. The change I'm gonna make is to this line here. Line number nine has a variable called title 
and it contains the value called app. It's a string app. Now I'm gonna make this change to first app, all right? I'm gonna press save and switch back. You notice here, this portion has changed. It was app before, it is now first app. So this portion of the rendering of this view is coming from the HTML, but this portion here in between the welcome to and the exclamation point is coming from the TypeScript file. This is common. In an Angular application, a view is created by a combination of your markup in the HTML file, as well as the dynamic logic in your TypeScript file. And uh, there is a CSS file as well, which contains all the style sheets that are involved. So in this case, we have an H1 over here. So let's say I style the H1 to have the color green. Press save. And when I refresh this, you notice the color of the H1 is now green. So in a nutshell, the application itself consists of one component. There is one component that the Angular CLI has created, which is which is bootstrapping the whole thing, right? And that is in the folder called app. And there are three files that are involved in rendering the view. There is the markup, the HTML markup, which is the name app.component.html. There is the JavaScript or the TypeScript logic, which is app.component.ts and the styling information, which is app.component.css. That leaves the last file, which is app.component.spec.ts. This is the unit test. It's a file which has test cases in order to unit test your component. But for now, what I wanna do is kinda of get rid of all this stuff. So this is something that the Angular CLI created for us to start with. I wanna have a clean slate and create our own component. We're gonna do that in the next video, but in order to create that clean slate, what I'm gonna do is get rid of all the stuff. I'm gonna get rid of all the markup in the app.component.html and press save. Now, if I go to HTML, you see it's a blank page. Everything that was rendering the view is now gone. There is dynamic logic in the TypeScript file still. Well, it's one line logic, we'll revisit that in a little bit. But uh, there is nothing that's rendering the view. So the view is essentially empty. Yeah, this forms a very good clean slate for us to create our own component and we'll do that in the next video.